Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So today's video is actually upon popular request from some of my subscribers who have been looking at the unit uh, segmentation model that I had published a, a while ago that uses semantic segmentation. So in that case, you really need medical images along with annotations in order to build machine learning models to do semantic segmentation. Now the question is, if you have medical images, how how do you come up with labels? Now, typically you're stuck with public data sets just because getting good quality medical images that are annotated is really hard. And especially so because of the data formats sometimes are not recognized with standard software, such as if it's a DICOM file like a .dcm, then generally if it's a JPEG reader or a PNG or a TIFF or a GIF reader, you will not be able to open the DICOM images, let alone annotate these images. So in today's video, what I will be showing you is two different softwares that I use in a sequence, in succession, in order to open a DICOM image, in order to even generate these uh, quick annotations, uh, you know, from the medical specialist and export them as JPEG or PNGs, and then to read these, uh, you know, JPEG and PNGs using a software called GIMP that I've been using for a fairly long time or for over a decade since I was a grad student and I've been using GIMP very easily in order to generate labels. So using GIMP, you can actually read a DICOM images and then you can generate an image corresponding to the label. So if there's pathology, you will you can get like circular or bounding boxes corresponding to where the pathology lies. So I will be showing you a tutorial and I will be you know giving you the links to how to download the software and also how to you know get the sample images that, that I'm looking at. They're all public data sets in order to get yourself started with labels data so that then you can use the cool machine learning models such as UNET. So do stay tuned. And if this kind of content that I'm providing for machine learning models for AI on medical images is of interest to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. So today we will be learning as to how to annotate medical images. So for this, in, in order for our tutorial today to work, I have three things that I have downloaded. The first thing that I will be showing you is called MicroDICOM. MicroDICOM is very powerful to, to visualize DICOM images. That is the generally the format for, for medical images. And then the other software that we're going to be using is called GIMP. Uh, it stands for G GNU Image Manipulation Program. And uh, what you will see is, is Jim, again, GIMP is, is free, freely downloadable. Um, GIMP, in, in some versions, it is uh, compatible with uh, DICOM images to read directly. However, uh, I was facing issues, uh, you know, reading DICOM images directly into GIMP. So what I what I will show you is how to use uh, the micro DICOM to first look at the images, the DICOM images, to do some amount of annotations there, and then to export it as a JPEG. And this JPEG image will then be read by a GIMP in order to generate machine learning labels corresponding to them. So let's get straight to it. So what I have is this particular folder, and again, this is from a Kaggle data set, is I have these folders full of DICOM images. And again, these are .DICOM, which you will not be able to view if you don't have the correct kind of viewer. So this is a sample DCM file. Right now, I have already uh, set it to be opened with micro DICOM, and that is what I would um, you know, recommend as well. And again, this is the DICOM browser. You see where, based off of wherever your uh, you know, cursor is, it tells you where your x-axis, uh, x-location and y-location is. Uh, now, the important part that I wanted to show you here was the calibration tools. Let's say you are interested in finding is how long is the, uh, is the you know, spinal cord, and it'll tell you that in this case, it's 138 uh, millimeters, or how wide was the chest cavity that you are analyzing. So re-annotation, the other things, uh, you know, typically that, that are helpful whenever you're coming up with the machine learning model is if you have an ellipse. So let's say you are you're, you see that there is pathology here. And as soon as you point this ellipse, it'll show you, you know, the mean, the median of, of the pixels in this particular region of interest, so the area and, you know, the maximum pixel and, and the minimum you know pixel values as well. Again, if you don't need it, you can just do a control shift and delete all of that, but that will get deleted. Or if you want to, you know, detect and see if this is pathology, then, you know, you keep your uh, bounding boxes based off of that. So you can have ellipses, you can have um, uh, 
uh, of course, bounding boxes. Wherever you think there is pathology, again, you can just annotate them this way. And once you're done, the next task is just to say export. So, and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be exporting it to a file. And I say export. And it exported. And now you can see that, you know, right next to the DICOM image, you can actually see that this was the annotated image. Now, this kind of annotation is not very useful when you're coming up with machine learning models, right? Because you generally need an image along with the file that tells you the exact bounding box locations or just to generate another image, which is going to tell you, okay, this, uh, you know, this area would be white and all other pixels will be black and then that would become your bitmap uh, equivalent of the labels that you will be using for your machine learning models. So in order to do that, what I'll be doing is I will be opening this open with and I will be opening it with the software called GIMP, which is GNU Image Manipulation Program. Now, ideally, GIMP is capable of reading DICOM images as well, but somehow for, for the version that I'm working with, it is giving me issues. And, and I can show you if I go to the DICOM image directly and if I say um, open with, um, it will say that GIMP could not load. And again, this is a, a versioning problem. So, and, you know, maybe it's just incompatible with my Windows uh, current version. But this is very common. You see, uh, this is the message that comes up that it's it's unable to, uh, it just crashed uh, on the .dcm file. So that's why for my current version, what I really have to do is I'll have to first convert it from DICOM to JPEG. And then from the JPEG, then I can, uh, you know, create uh, maps for it. So this is, uh, you know, let's say what the specialist has annotated for us. And our intention is now to create a labeled, uh, you know, image map from this. So what I do here is, first of all, I go and I say create a new la layer. And in this case, let's say that I'm calling this layer pathology. All right. And again, if I just, you know, look at, at the layers here, you can actually see what these uh, layers uh, actually contain. Now, for this pathology, again, that's the layer that, that is uh, selected. It looks very similar to Adobe, where you can, you know, have layers and, and, and color on them. So what I would do is, first of all, the background needs to be filled out. So, the, you know, this is the, the background that, that was there. So let me just remove the eye from there. And then what I do is I go to tools and I say selection tool. So first I'm interested in uh, the rectangle regions of interest, right? So let me just do a rectangle. And this is the region of interest. And again, if it doesn't fit correctly with what the specialist has annotated, I will move it around till it does, right? And then once it is there, I will say edit and fill fill with the you know white color. And if you want to see if it was done correctly or not, you can actually you know uh, highlight this on, on top of it. But now you can actually see that this was the region that has already been annotated. And uh, now let me uh, change this to uh, a, an elliptical selection tool because the remaining regions are elliptical in nature. Then again, you go edit, and then you say you know fill with the uh, with the white color. And again, to, to check if it did it you know what it's supposed to, you can actually see you know one on top of the other. And then again, uh, I have another one. Go in here, and then say again edit, fill with the white color. And now, if you if you just you know make sure that you're looking at at the whole thing, you will see. Uh, you know, these become your annotated regions of interest. So now what you would like to do is remove the eye, you know, from the actual image. And now you, you go and say export as, and then you can actually name. So let me say mask one, and then just hit export. And what this will do is again, it'll ask you the quality and everything. And then it will, if you go to exactly where you're image was, now you'll be able to see the exported mask. So if your intention is to get, um, you know, annotated medical image data, which is actually in the DICOM file, it is, uh, I would recommend it's a two step process. One in the first process, you use the micro DICOM viewer in order to, you know, generate these annotations from the doctor or for, from the specialists. And the, you know, this, uh, the, this viewer is, is essentially just to convert the images from DICOM to your uh, JPEG. And once you have done the, the JPEG, then you open it in, in GIMP. And in GIMP, you can always keep creating new layers and annotating images and then applying this for machine learning algorithm. I hope you find this useful.